Good morning, students. Today we are going to discuss the science topic our six, of sixth class is nothing but our food. So, what is food? Why do we take food? So, food is nothing but essential need for the organisms like animals, plants, and so on. So, where do we get this food from? So, food is one of the main source which is obtained from different kinds of organisms like animals, plants and others. So, you may get a doubt that what is this others? So, food is prepared with the different kinds of ingredients like the materials which are used as rice, dal and so on. How do we prepare this food? How do we cook rice? What do we need to cook rice? So, is other is nothing but which is meant with water. So, where do we get this water from? It is one of the natural source which is obtained in the form of rain. So, let us know what does animals and plants give to us. So, let us make the source of food we get from animals. So, what are the different kinds of source of food we get from animals? Our day starts with a hot cup of milk, tea or coffee. So where do we get this milk from? So it is obtained from most of the milk giving animals. So the source milk gets from animals. So what do the animals gives us is nothing but milk, eggs and meat. So most of the milk giving animals, you can define some of the examples which are nothing but the milk giving animals familiar to us are nothing but buffalo and cow. So in our surroundings we used to see most of the defined animals as if we have seen that the familiar buffalo and cow. So most of the places, do all the places will follow the same kind of food habits? So not so. Because according to the climatic conditions, people follow different kinds of food. So in the same manner, regarding with the food habits, the organisms have been divided into herbivores, carnivores, omnivores. So what does this define as? What are herbivores? Herbivores are nothing but the organisms which depend only on plants as they food. Then what are carnivores? So the organisms which eat the flesh of other animals as their food are to be defined as carnivores. Then what are omnivores? So we all know that as if in humans it has been defined as vegetarian and non-vegetarian. In the same manner the organisms are also divided by taking their food habits as plants and animals as omnivores. So omnivores are nothing but the organisms which depend on both plants and flesh. So let us think about or let us give some examples of plant eating organisms or carnivores and omnivores. So what are plant eating animals? So we know that we will be familiar with buffalo. So what is the food taken by buffalo? It's nothing but grass. So buffalo can be given as an example of herbivore. So what is a carnivore? You will be watching in your surroundings. So a familiar organism or animal dog. So which depends on flesh of other animals as its food. So what are what is a a good example of omnivore. So it's nothing but human. Why it is to be taken as human as an omnivore? Because the people depend on animals and plants for their food. So they take both the kinds of things regularly in their daily life. So omnivore example is nothing but human. So what are the different methods of preparation? So where do we get this food? From. So let us make a source of animals and plants. What do plants give to us? So children, let us know that what does the plants give to us? So after making 
making food in the kitchen. So, what is your curry today? So, let us have a question there. So, where do we get this curry from? What are the sources? Are the preparation for this curry are to be obtained from? So, where do we get this? So, that is nothing but the vegetables, fruits, nuts and so on are to be obtained from plants. So, the sources of vegetables and fruits are nothing but plants. So, we take our food with the help of animals as well as plants. These are the main sources from where we get food. So, why do we eat food? What the food gives to us? What does the food gives to us? Food gives us energy and it makes us to stay healthy and fit. So, these are the things until now which we have seen in this. So, where does we get food from? Food is obtained from animals, plants and other sources. So, what do the plants give to us? Plants give vegetables, fruits and nuts. And what are the sources of food obtained from animals? Is nothing but in the form of milk, eggs and meat. So, do we follow the same kind of food habits? No, it is not. So, regarding the food habits, the organisms have been divided into three types. Those are nothing but herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. So, herbivores are to be defined as the organisms which depend only on plants. Carnivores are nothing but the organisms which depend only on the flesh of other animals. And omnivores are organisms which depend on both plants as well as animals. So, is it clear that where do we get food from and how are the organisms have been divided into groups and why do we need food? Is it clear children? So, next we are going to that. How do we prepare food? What are the different methods of preparing food? So, whenever you have been to the kitchen, have you ever observed that how your mother cooks food? So, let us see that. So, daily we used to have in our food as a breakfast or regular lunch or dinner. So, mother cooks food for us as it is a breakfast. Let us think that or imagine that how your mother prepares an evening. So today your breakfast is idli. So how do your mother prepare idli? So idli is one of the food which is prepared in the form of staining. So why do we eat uh, the food with the different kinds of methods? Is puri is prepared with the boiling? Is it possible to prepare puri with the boiling water? No. So, we used to follow different kinds of methods for preparing different varieties of food. So, boiling is to be followed. So, let us think an example that egg, potato. So, these are different kinds of food items which are to be prepared by using a method for boiling. Then how about frying? So, frying, it can be done with the help of so fry is to be done with fish so you can even do potato as a fry what about shallow frying shallow frying is nothing but frying the things in a soft manner so it is to be defined for different kinds of food varieties so it may be for both of the kinds and what about the jelly how do we prepare that means we used to see whenever we have been to a bakery. So let us see that we can come across different kinds of cakes, jellies, puddings, ice creams and so on. So how do we prepare so? So these have to be done with the help of fruits. So in market, 
point we used to come across different kind kinds of or varieties of food which are to be prepared with the different kinds of methods so you know that you used to have some pack before what is nothing but the pack before the food which is obtained in packets so which is available in our market so we used to see in the pack before on a pack before you used to see a table which is to be obtained with the nutrient nutrients which are used in that why our body needs nutrients yes we have already discussed that we take food to stay healthy and fit so in the same manner to get the nutrients to our body our body needs a nutritious food and we have to know the food we need should contain almost all the nutrients which our body needs actually so let us discuss about the nutritional values of food so how our food contains what are nutrients how do they help our body so nutrients are nothing but carbohydrates proteins vitamins minerals fats so what do these nutrients help to our body as if we all know that what do these carbohydrates help to us so how carbohydrates and fats these two are the main nutrients which give energy to our body so the rice which we take as food it contains more amount of carbohydrates and the fats like ghee cheese milk and so on which contains fat gives us energy the sweets which contain more fats 